17-3 weather with Audrey Pentecost. Hi, I'm meteorologist Audrey Pentecost. And I'm Brian McLean. And this is our, this is my last 906 <laughs> Weather Watchers. Uh, and we're going to go through some 906 Weather Watchers pictures sent from you to us to our 906 Weather Watchers Facebook page. If you haven't joined, we'd love to have you join. And we love to share your photos as well. And first up, we have this photo of this absolutely adorable little squirrel. When I first saw it, it looks like it's throwing its head back, like it's throwing its hair back, like whipping its hair. <laughs> yeah. I kind of imagine like you know like in cartoons where there's like a pie in the window and then like the animal like is floating yes. <laughs> this is what I'm imagining right now like it's smelling it yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is sent from Kathy Gordon and Nagami uh, and again I just I love I this picture I love this photo it's I'm so obsessed. good I, I love the I love just the squirrel we, pictures I know we were like we want to just just scratch yeah. him <laughs> He looks, it just looks so fluffy. Like I just, yeah. Yeah, I just think that, yeah, I, I love That's it. That's a good one. That's a good, <laughs> a good one. one. Thank you so much for sending that in. And then we have this one from Sue Dempsey in Munising. And you can kind of see like a little storm rolling in, some yeah. spooky looking clouds out there. That does not look pleasant. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Well, we've been kind of seeing that like just on and off just across the UP. I, I don't think I, we caught any storms in Marquette. I don't think uh, so. It probably depends. Like I saw a couple sprinkles earlier in the day. We're starting to get some like light rain. It's like just drizzling mm -hmm. right now, but and it's like really cold too. But it was very it was, cold today. It was hot today, you know. It, it was. It felt pretty warm. It was there. warm and then it got cold like mm -hmm. real fast. It was strange. And yeah, it was, there was a cold front that went through, and so like the closer it got, the warmer it got, and then as soon as it passed by, you know those mm -hmm. winds turn and then you get those really cold temperatures and that cold northerly wind so yes. <laughs> that's definitely what happened it definitely you could just feel it move right through the area so thanks definitely. so much for sending that in just a lovely picture and now we have this one this was sent from Sandra at Tamarack Lake and Ooh. yeah you can kind of see the little clouds as well somebody's out fishing maybe yes very very nice <laughs> I don't know when the best time to go fishing is is it when you're you know, when the storm's about to roll in. <laughs> I, I don't know too much about fishing. We might need to ask Becca. We might have to ask Becca. Yeah. She is the fishing expert around <laughs> definitely, here. Definitely, so. definitely. This looks so tranquil, like the like, green and the trees. It's and a the, very beautiful yeah, photo. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Thank you so much for sending that in. And then we have this one from uh, Christian in Marquette. Wow. And, wow, it looked like a lovely wow. day to go out and enjoy the weather before it started to get rainy and dreary. I, it's so perfectly <laughs> framed and I yeah. love the steam coming out of the freighter and oh yeah it's wow so this is a really great photo. Yeah and there's a couple of photos in this in this uh, little collection mm -hmm. that Christian sent in and the boat kind of like just goes off into the fog too. Wow. It looks really cool it like just disappears but you can kind of still see like the smokestack coming up so it's really cool you should go check it out if you if you haven't already it's really cool. Uh, I enjoy looking at those pictures and then we have this picture it's kind of like giving the 4th of July. <laughs> It's all, almost that time of the, uh, of the year. Yeah, yeah, next week it's coming up. Yeah, they're, just, they're getting ready. And this was sent from Sally <laughs> Tapio Smith in the Keweenaw. Thank you so much for sending that in. For your three things to know, we're seeing some light rain right now, especially towards the northern areas, with some decreasing clouds through tonight. We'll see a nice sunny day for your day tomorrow. And then taking a look at those radar and satellites, you can see the clouds and a couple of rain showers moving through the area. We're going to see that decreasing through tonight. And then a nice sunny skies for tomorrow seeing mostly that for your Monday until clouds start to move in later in the afternoon and evening and then your next chance for rain showers and thunderstorms start on a Tuesday for your extended forecast in the Keweenaw we're going to see those temperatures just stay around the 60s and 70s for the first half of your week a little bit closer to average for the middle of the week and then cooling off a little bit for your Friday for the closer to the Michigan Wisconsin border we're going to see those temperatures stay in the 70s Sunday and Monday cooling off for your Tuesday warming back up and then cooling back off for your Friday and those areas closer to Lake Michigan. We're going to see those temperatures stay in the 60s and 70s for the first half of your week, warming up to the 80s for your Wednesday and then cooling off gradually for your Friday. In those areas in the eastern UP, we're going to see those temperatures stay in the 60s and 70s for the first half of your week, warming up for your Wednesday before seeing those temperatures drop on Friday again and then getting a little closer to average. In Alger County, we're going to see those temperatures stay in the 60s and 70s throughout the first half of your week, staying closer to average for the middle of your week and then cooling off again for your Friday. And then in those areas closer to a 
the closer to Marquette County, away from the lake shores, you're going to see those temperatures stay in the 60s and 70s first half of the week. Warming up for your Wednesday, gradually cooling off for your Friday again into the 60s. And in the upper terrain, we're going to see those temperatures around the 60s and 70s again. Cooler for your Friday as well with those uh, temperatures a little bit warmer for the middle of the week. And then in those areas closer to the lake shore, we're going to see those temperatures stay pretty much the same 60s and 70s first half of the week. Warmer for your Wednesday and then cooling off for your Friday.